could make it on my own I thought that I would know just what to do But as the flames rushed in around me I could not find my way Then I heard your sweet voice telling me That I would be okay I was overcome by your peace I was overcome by your presence, Lord You rescued me from hopelessness filled me with your holiness and let me know that you were always there I'm in your care I always knew that you were God above and sent your son that we would know your love my life seemed so idyllic but all's not as it seems For now I have a greater sense Of what love really means I will overcome Through your love I will overcome Through your presence, Lord You rescued me from hopelessness And filled me with holiness and let me know that you are always there I'm in your care I know that this has helped me understand is in your hand I know my life is useless without you by my side you have lit the fire inside of me a light I will not hide you have overcome through your peace you have overcome through your from hopelessness and filled us with your righteousness and let us know that you are always there we're in your care you have overcome through your peace you have overcome through your holiness you rescued from hopelessness and filled us with your righteousness and let us know that you are always there we're in your care we're in your Hello friends, thanks for joining us here today. I would like to share a devotional with you and that comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 through 3. It says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning and the garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair they will be called oaks of righteousness, 
a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. I like to read verse three from the message version. It says, to care for the needs of all who mourn in Zion, to give them bouquets of roses instead of ashes, messages of joy instead of news of doom, a praising heart instead of a languid spirit. Rename them oaks of righteousness, planted by God to display his glory. Thanks be to God for his word. I'd like to call your attention to one of the things that Isaiah says we have already been anointed to do, and that is to bring messages of joy. In such traumatic times, turbulent times, you and I have already been anointed. So God is counting on us to spread messages of joy. We don't ask, we don't have to ask for permission. We have already been anointed to do that. So what if instead of checking out completely at the end of the day or spending the whole day working or not really connected, connecting or just locking ourselves in our rooms under our blankets, just waiting for this whole thing to pass. What if you and I would take five minutes of our day to spread joy to our circle? What if we call somebody to talk about nothing, to just chit chat, something some of us haven't done in a long time? What if we would share a message, an inspiring message on social media? something that's not related to the pandemic that we're living, but just an uplifting message, something to bring joy to somebody else. I mean, this week, we have the happiest of news to share. Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. You can spread joy by inviting people to watch the Easter service with you this week. So no matter what your circumstance is, you have already been anointed to be a conduit of joy into this world. But why joy? Why am I calling your attention to joy? Why should we be the ones to spread joy in such difficult times? Remember that Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. So what is the kingdom of God? Some people may think that the church is the kingdom of God, but Paul in Romans 14, 17, he explains to us what the kingdom of God means. He says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. In the Holy Spirit. That's our word, joy, righteousness, peace, and joy. So by seeking joy, you are actually doing exactly what Jesus said. Seek first the kingdom of God. When you seek joy, you are also seeking the kingdom. You know what the best part of it is? That there is a promise attached to the act of obedience. When you seek the kingdom first, when you seek righteousness joy and peace jesus will give us everything else that we need so if you're worried about a loved one being sick or you yourself being sick if there is um instability in the home whatever the circumstance is seek the kingdom first and all the other things will be added into you so i invite you today to seek the kingdom by seeking joy god bless you